I hear something walking around in the attic. <coughs> Must be raccoons. It's coming from up there. Huh. Yeah, it's definitely in the attic. Probably raccoons. They get into everything. It's amazing. They're they're like homeless people. You know what I mean? I mean they the and they're smart. Yeah, they're really smart raccoons are. Anyway, O Muslim, O slave of Allah. According to Muhammad in the Sahih, that's sound hadith. Uh, you're supposed to use an odd number of stones to wipe your patootie. Uh, I and I have no idea why Muhammad would say that. Muhammad seemed to have a tendency to say things off the top of his head, you know, uh, like Satan sleeping your nose at night, sunsets in a muddy spring, uh, meteors being burning up the Earth's atmosphere, being little stars chasing away Satan, things like that. But I was wondering, do you use an odd number of stones, like Muhammad says, to wipe your patootie? And if you do. What do you do with those stones after using them? Do you... I don't flush them down the toilet, I bet, you know. I just throw them away or... You know, what? I I don't know. And, and then again, what, what if you use three stones, but you have to use more? Do you just... You know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh... Anyway, um, I don't know why. I mean, what, what's the point, you know, um, of using an odd number of stones to wipe your titty? I don't get it. Muhammad also says that you have to enter the bathroom with your right foot or Satan will uh, play with your butt. Yeah. But the thing is, if you can't feel Satan playing with your butt, What's the point of entering the bathroom with your right foot and saying some kind of prayer? <clears throat> you know? Also, Muhammad said that if you, if you yawn, Satan will laugh at you. But you know something? If you can't hear Satan laughing, what, what's the problem? I mean, I don't care if I entertain Satan with a, with, with a yawn, you know? Don't. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Muhammad said that if you uh, don't say a certain prayer uh, before having sex, Satan will wrap himself around your your penis, and it'll be Satan that's having sex with your wife or concubine or whatever. But the thing is, if you can't feel Satan wrapped around your penis, and it's not bothering her, I mean, what's What's the problem? I say, hey, let Satan have a ride. You know? Yeah. I'd like to see those creatures, see what they look like. But anyway, those are just questions I have. Bye.